So a regional jet into a VVIP configuration. When do you do that and how does it work? Well, there's a few out there. Um, uh, one of the most popular is the Challenger 850, which is based off the CRJ200 built by Bombardier. Uh, very popular, nice large cabin. You've got the Embraer 135, which can be turned into private jet. You can do those in 16 seat configuration, 10 seat configurations. Um, that's quite good. It's narrower um, fuselage than the uh, than the Challenger 850. Uh, then you've got the Airbus 220, which can be turned into VVIP. I haven't seen any of those yet done, but uh, it certainly can be done. Um, and the other one is the uh, Lineage 1000, which is based off of the uh, uh, Embraer uh, regional jet, the 190. So uh, what happens when you do this? Well, first of all, what you have to understand is you're going to end up with a private jet that only flies 0.78 to 0.82 mark. So not as fast as a Gulfstream or as a Falcon 7X uh, or a Global 6000, for example, which fly at 0.88, 0.9, 0.92. So slower aircraft. So it's not my recommendation to go and buy one of these, even though some of these regional jets are, are quite cheap. You can buy them for two, three, four million dollars, uh, change the interior. And, and with this, with maybe five, six million dollars, you find yourself with, with a big aeroplane. Uh, with a, a nice interior that can carry quite a lot of people. Uh, you won't get as much range out of them. Now you can change the tanks. Actually change, you can put extra fuel tanks in there to give it more range. But what you won't be able to do is you won't be able to increase the speed. So you're still going to be battling with the speed. So my recommendation is if you have the requirement where you need to shuttle, I don't know, 15 people, 16 people between, you know, London to Paris or London to Milan, um, or in the United States, even coast to coast is pushing it a little bit because that's quite a long distance. But if you go from Dallas to LA or Dallas to New York, um, you know, those flights up to about three hours, uh, then, you know, this is the type of aircraft which will really do you a good job. I mean, if we take, for example, the Challenger 850, which you've been seeing here uh, on the video, uh, this is a very nice spacious cabin. In fact, the cabin size is the size of the Global Express. Uh, built by the same people by Bombardier. Uh, you can configure this any way you want. I mean, 16 seats is, is something that some people like to do. Some people like to do 12 to 14. As you can see, it's very spacious. Um, and this airplane will cost you about $6,000 an hour all in if you're flying about 400 hours a year. Uh, now, that's a good number, especially if you're flying, you know, you're, you're doing these corporate shuttles back and forth. There's some uh, some companies have the need for corporate shuttles with 12 to 14 people. Um, and you can have a nice service on board with one or two flight attendants serving a nice meal um, to your people and you can go and send the airplane to pick people up, you know, large part, 10, 12 people uh, and, and shuttle them to your, your facility and that. So this is where the, you know, the regional jet uh, does turn into a very, very nice private jet if you're going to use it on flights less than three hours. Now, of course, this is my opinion. Some people have gone out and bought these airplanes and do launch on long flights, uh, but you know, they end up being very slow. And if you're going to do the long flights, you want to have a fast aeroplane. So again, VVIP uh, regional jet does work on the short distances, as I said. Um, my favourite one is the Challenger 850 because it's you know it's a spacious cabin. But if you're looking at costs and that, the Embraer 135 does turn into a nice, uh, slick, um, you know, uh, VVIP jet for, for short distances. So that's another one you want to look at. And of course, the Airbus 220. Um, is another one and the Lineage 1000 very beautiful interiors um, and again uh, you'll make an a, amazing impression on your clients if you send one of these along to pick them up uh, in, in Dallas and, and bring them along to your 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 office in Las Vegas uh, it's a great one uh, to use so those are kind of options that are out there uh, again it all depends on your need and, and this is why you know just throwing generalized information out there sometimes is not the best of things so if you are watching this and you're wondering well what should I do um, you can contact me ping me an email and I will schedule you in for a call the first call is free and I'll have a listen and ask you a few questions and see what your business is all about and see what I can come up with solution wise for you. So if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I also encourage you to give us a thumbs up and comment below. And with this coronavirus out there, I also encourage you all to stay safe, stay hydrated, take your vitamin C and um, remember to wash your hands as often as possible. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV and I'll see you on the next one.